Good afternoon, everyone. Prepper Dog here again, coming to you from North Georgia on a Tuesday afternoon. It's kind of overcast, but temperature is pretty good, about high 60s, so not bad at all. Hope you're having a good day. Topic for today is prepping skills. So we hear a lot about stuff. So we hear a lot about, when we talk about prepping, we hear a lot about uh, beans, bullets, and bandages. And so you have to have that, you know, that, that, not saying you have to have those things, but we hear a lot about stuff that you need to have and, and attain and buy, whatever, borrow. So, but there's a lot more to, to prepping. Uh, and so in a situation, an SHTF situation or a grid down or even a temporary grid down, electricity grid down situation, uh, it's vitally important uh, to talk about skills and what you bring to the table. If you're part of or if you're forming a MAG, a mutual assistance group, it's so important to, to think about the talent or skill uh, that you have and what will be needed uh, for survival and to make life as normal as possible. Uh, so when we talk about skills, uh, there, there are some that just came to my mind and I'll, and I'll go over a few of them. Uh, so the first thing that came to my mind is cooking, baking. Now, you know, in, in the Army, uh, there are only a certain percentage of people who are actually toting the guns and, and, and doing the firing. But a lot of people in the Army or in the Armed Forces are in a support role. So it's so important to have that and have that skill. It's huge. So, and one of that's cooking, preparing food, because you have to eat, right? So uh, cooking and baking, I, I feel like I'm a pretty good cook. Baking, you know, I, I could do a lot better on. My wife is, is teaching me. Uh, about that so uh, and I'm getting better at it so so cooking and baking is one thing gardening uh, we do a little gardening at, at home uh, I wouldn't say that we're pros but we're but we know the basics you know we can get by on that uh, we, we plant a little raised garden every spring so uh, it works out pretty well but gardening and and knowing how to do that is, is important you may not even have all the stuff to do it but if you have that skill you can bring that to a group okay uh, sewing my wife can sew like nobody's business I mean she can make clothes curtains whatever you order up so uh, it's huge I don't have that I don't have that skill but uh, so something like that is, is is very important medicine medical experience you don't even have to ha even if you don't have the supplies again if you have that know-how if you have that knowledge and that skill uh, you bring that talent to the table so any medical experience is, is huge. It doesn't even have to be a doctor. It can be a nurse, nurse practitioners, uh, medical assistant. Just, just any knowledge can be very helpful or a medic. Logistics. So moving things around or, 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 or getting around, even uh, this may not be considered logistics, but a map reading. So in a situation where uh, you know you have the grid down and there's no GPS signals, you may have to read a map. That's how we do it. Did it in the old days, right? Even before the days of MapQuest, we had to have the little fold-out map. I don't have one right, right close by. I should have one, but uh, you know you may have to read a map. So any that's a skill, you know, and not a lot of people have that now. So uh, so think about that. Building, maintenance, uh, you know how to build things. Uh, do you know, you have some carpentry skills, some basic plumbing, uh, things like that, you know, uh, engineering, that, that would be a huge, huge uh, deal as well. I'm lacking in that. I'm not the most handy person. I can provide heavy lifting and labor and, uh, and pick up what I can as far as learning. I'm better than I was 10 years ago. Okay, I can do some very basic things. You know. Automotive, are mechanically inclined, or are you good? Are you a good mechanic? Can you change the oil and filter in a vehicle? Can you change a tire that's flat? When I was 15 years old, my dad uh, asked me, he said, you want your driver's license? I said, sure, I'm ready to have it right now. He said, so we're gonna, we're gonna make sure you know how to do some basics. And those were two things that he made sure I knew how to do. And he, he showed me how to do it. And then he made me do it. In front of him so changing the oil and filter I mean I had a good idea anyway how to do that but he made me do it in front of him which was a good lesson and changing the tire uh, taking it off putting it back on 
you know, just the basics. Like, you don't have to be an expert in something, but if you know the basics, you can get by, okay? Uh, what else? Uh, hunting and fishing. Uh, I have never been on a hunt, I'll be honest. I've done some fishing, so I know some basics there. But hunting, uh, that, that would be uh, very important as far as... Uh, a bad situation you know if something something really comes up a true emergency and fishing too you know just the basics again would be big uh, teaching teaching mentoring coaching uh, those skills will still be needed okay uh, you just never know that and medical it would be big too uh, so and clergy you know pastors uh, teaching all kinds of things just having that skill uh, speaking, speaking skills, leadership, you know, leadership skills. Uh, during a time like that, we would we would really need leadership, uh, really at all kinds of levels. So, so these are just some of the things that I was thinking about. I, I, there are probably some that I have not even mentioned here. Uh, if I've left out something kind of obvious, let me know. Uh, share your share your feedback in the comments. I'd love to know. Get your feedback on this. And what is your skill? You know, what are you? What is your specialty? And what do you want to improve? What do you want to get better at? Because I think we're always learning. We're never too old to, to learn something new, and it's never too late to start prep. If you really haven't started, if you've just been thinking about it, just get started. Just get going. Just start uh, compiling some things. Okay. Uh, so if you'll share that feedback with me, I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button and please subscribe. I sure would appreciate that as well. Hope you have a good rest of the day. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.